True Goy, one of the members of one of my favorite period groups, period, De La Soul, just passed today, very recently, at the young age of 54. So this is really sad news to me, because I love De La Soul. I've listened to them for years, and they've been one of my favorite groups since, like, the early 90s, since I first heard them on Three Feet High and Rising. And that's them right here, very young, and they're one of their first music videos for me, myself, and I. Yeah, it's just a real bummer that he's gone already. And they recently had an album just in 2016, so they were still doing music. They are still the group. And now, yeah, so that kind of really is very unfortunate. One of the greatest, one of my favorite rappers from a group that I really love is now just no longer alive. And that's sucks. And yeah, I just love, I've always loved Dela just because of how innovative they were. I mean, when I started listening to them at the same time, I was getting into harder groups like Public Enemy and NWA. But at the same time, I was really getting into De La Soul and Tribe Called Quest, two of those groups. Those two of my absolute favorite groups. Now they both have a member who died. Tribe was for Fife Dog a few years ago now. So yeah. So then, so then they should just form a group. The, those four guys should get together and form their own group. So yeah, this is this is the Break It Dawn video off my actual personal favorite Daylight album, Balloon Mind State. One of the more unique, kind of weird albums. They're a, they're a unique group all around. They're just doing different things. They were a different sound when they first came out, and they kept evolving every album and. True Goy is like one of the. It's, I've always thought him and uh, Pasta News were both very underrated MCs overall. I always felt they never really got the shine that they all, both should have got. Pasta News and True Goy, just in terms like you never really see them on lists, and they should be on lists of like all time greatest rappers, all time greatest groups in hip hop. Absolutely. I forgot about the cool editing in this video of like showing them multiple versions of them and they look they're really well composited together. One of my favorite songs from one of my favorite albums. Let's vibe out a little bit, you know? This is like a tribute video to True Goy and Dela. And then you explode. Here they are innovating again. This video here actually for Ring Ring Ha Ha Hey was kind of innovative. Like, I mean, this was very early in the 90s music videos and like this is like one of Hype Williams' first videos ever I believe and Hype Williams has become a huge name in directing videos specifically hip hop videos when he first started out and I believe this is the Hype Williams and this is like this was like brand these style of videos were kind of new at the time I mean it wasn't long before every music video kind of looked like this but it's just a really great video. It's really just like the camera and some lighting. Really nothing all that crazy fancy. Just how it's shot and edited. So, you know, Daylock continued to innovate with every album. Every music video would be like something fresh and different. Like 
verses like this, I now hate to get this smile too late, why the mask? Now with the straightest face, I mean by hell, yes, 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 yes,